When we think of performance cars, our minds are quick to imagine the precision-honed supercars of the luxury sports car market. High-speed cars with monstrous horsepower and beastly price tags. Now, as fun as those can be, they set a pretty high bar for anyone who wants to get in on the action. You know, not everybody has the deep pockets or experience for such things, and for some drivers, that's not even what they want. That's why the Toyota GR86 intrigues me. Like the previous version, which had many names, it keeps things simple. It's attainable for new drivers. It rewards the old ones and keeps the price tag under 30K. Modest performance at an attainable price. But even so, is it worth it? Let's take it for a spin. The GR86 is a front-engine, rear-drive, 2x2 coupe meant to deliver on the raw fundamentals of performance driving. In many ways, it's similar to the outgoing car, but there are significant upgrades to key dynamics. Under the hood is a 2.4-liter, four-cylinder boxer engine that gins up 228 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. It's sent to the rear by way of either a six-speed manual or automatic gearbox. The previous car's power output was divisive, with fans praising how it was well balanced with the car's dynamics, while critics lamented the lack of a turbocharged option. This new engine should satisfy both camps, as it remains naturally aspirated and ups the power output. More importantly though, the GR86's full power comes into play sooner in the rev band, so it's got more of a spring in its step when compared to its predecessor. Another big change is to the GR86's handling which is one of the older car's most attractive characteristics. It's still got a super low center of gravity and adheres to the tarmac very well, but upgrades to the suspension, new aero, and tuning suited for the new engine make the GR86 comparatively more fluid. Think of it this way, take your favorite video game, go into the controller settings mid-match, and then crank the analog stick sensitivity way higher than you're used to, and that's what the jump in performance feels like. It takes a little getting used to, but this, combined with the more playful engine, make the GR86 a sprightly, engaging car that can glide around corners. The GR86 lands on lots in November, and as of right now, we know the price is under 30000 but no specifics have been announced. Even still, with this ballpark price and encouraging performance, anyone looking for either their first sports car or their next plaything should give this one a look for themselves.